Hey everybody, today on Active Self Protection Extra, man, talking about the pistol shotgun made everybody all frustrated that I didn't talk about buckshot. Oh, John, you don't shoot birdshot out of it, you shoot that 410 buckshot out of it. And so that makes the pistol shotgun a monster. So I'm here at Crossroads Shooting Sports in Johnston, Iowa, and they happen to have a Smith & Wesson Governor and some 410 buckshot triple op buck. And um, so here we are, let's test it a little bit, shall we? Big Tex Outdoors has holsters, accessories, optics, and other parts that you need as a self-defender. I'm one of his customers and I recommend him highly. Check out the page on our website with our favorite deals. Thanks as always for Big Tex Outdoors sponsoring these gear reviews. Gear, this is a gear selection. Ammo is gear selection. And it is one of those things where we can choose it when the, the Day is bright and everything's cool. So again, you guys know, go watch my stuff on these pistol shotguns. I am not a fan of these for home defense. So we're gonna load it with this two and a half inch triple up buckshot. This is what they had available. And what we have is we have a USPSA target downrange at 10 yards. Why do I pick 10 yards? I know a lot of people are like, but John, most defensive shootings are at three or five or seven yards. That's outside the home. If you're gonna do a home defense with something like this, I would never carry this. This is way too big, bulky for what it is. It's just not a good carry gun. So uh, at home defense distances, 10 yards like this, this might be the length of a hallway. This might be from your front door to where you catch the bad guy in the kitchen. Um, and so for a home defense distance, 10 yards is really common. Now, of course, with your regular handgun, you should be able to hit 10 yards without even thinking about it. With your rifle, 10 yards is nothing. So let's see what kind of pattern we get out of 410 buckshot out of a governor. These guys are, there are four triple out buck pellets. You can see it right coming out of the edge there, out of the end. These are Federals. Uh, they are doing about 750 feet per second out of the muzzle, four triple out buck pellets. Now, what you're gonna see here is, is I'm not shot cup through here. So they are gonna come out of this real short barrel. So they're sitting about like this. So you're gonna have this tiny little bit of barrel to kind of get these guys moving in the right direction. And I'm not real sure what kind of pattern we're gonna get out of this bad boy. Okay, let's just see what kind of pattern we get out of this bad boy. Gonna aim right for the A. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I have all eight. Uh, we do two for a reason. We do two shots so that you're not getting like a, a, an anomaly or something like that. And I'm aiming right here. I'm getting a little, little left. That's a shot cup. Um, and so listen, here's the reality of things. We've still got to do some testing. And I know meat target, you know, groceries versus gel. You know that I'm going to shoot it in the gel and see what we get out of there when I get home. Uh, but at least at the very least here, if you're going to use something like this, a little 410 buckshot at 10 yards, not bad. Well, you know, we were testing our other shotgun, our home defense shotguns at 15. Let's see what kind of pattern we get if we back up a little bit. Okay, so we backed up to 15 yards. Now I'm going to take a headshot at 15 yards because again, I think this is about the longest shot for most people in their home. Now I'm going to shoot the head box on this one, not because I would ever recommend you do that with this gun, but just because that's the target I got out there and that'll give us two fresh shots to see kind of what our dispersion and pattern is, okay? Uh, I'm actually going to shoot at the B, so a little bit lower than that. I'm just trying to see what the pattern is at this kind of distance. And again, we're shooting triple out buck. All right, four pellet, triple out, shooting that B. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. He's rolling the other one. It looks to me like we've got a flyer at this point, okay? Uh, unless I had a double, and I don't think I did here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I had, I had a flyer off the paper. So what we start to see here is um, when, they, when they hit each other like that, so they're all in a column, right? And so the, the back, back one pushes the front ones. And so sometimes what you'll get is you'll get enough deformation that at 15 yards, I've missed one off. Now I did get seven out of eight. So that's actually not too bad. Um, if, if you're gonna use a, a governor or a judge, something like that, you're gonna use one of those pistol shotguns for patterning. So this triple out buck is not terrible as far as pattern keeping most of those on. I mean, one of them, I got all four pellets in the head box at 15 yards. Another one, I lost a flyer. And I don't know where that flyer went. It's literally off the page. And that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nope, see, again, 
So I, I lost a flyer off the page somewhere, and that worries me because I, you know, that would say I'd have to throw a few more through this. But if you're going to load this shotgun, which I don't recommend, we're going to have to shoot it through the gel. But if you are, I mean, this stuff actually patterns reasonably decent.